Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to use the SD Media Launcher to play GameCube games right from an SD card. Um, you can buy the SD Media Launcher from CodeJunkies.com, the link is in the description below. You do need an SD card for this to work. Okay, the very first step is we're going to go to ToShare.com, the link will be in the description below. What we need to do is download the GameCube operating system. After that's done, we're gonna we're gonna unzip it. We're gonna drag it to the desktop, okay? After that, we're gonna drag the files onto the SD card. So you take GCO, so you put it on the memory card. You take your ISO, which I'm not gonna tell you where to get GameCube ISOs, but once you get the ISO, you put it onto the SD card too, right right on it. Don't have to put it in any folder or anything. Now you're all set. You downloaded the GameCube operating system. You did everything correctly. Make sure the SD card is in FAT format. <clears throat> if it's not, it won't work. Now, just to be clear, this is what your SD card should look like. It should say GCOS 1.5. It should have your ISO file. And then, this won't be here. You don't have to have this right here. That's fine. This is what it should look like. Take your card out. So now that we've put the GameCube operating system and the ISO on the SD card, we're going to set everything up, put the SD card right in there, take the disc, pop it in, You'll find it automatically. So we're going to go to GCOS, GameCube Operating System. We're going to go all the way down to Viper, Swiss LZ or IZ Viper. Click it. Sometimes your screen will do that and it'll go right over to here. It'll go to this menu screen. So we're going to go to SD Gecko, Compatible, Slot A since we're using that memory slot. Then we just go to the ISO, push A, push A again, it'll come up with the logo. Push A again, click no. Now it's reading it, it's executing it. And there's a the logo for Nintendo. Right, Animal Crossing is running. Okay guys, just a couple things to mention. Make sure you are in fact using an SD card. You cannot use an SDHC card. They won't work. You need an SD card to boot it. Number two, sometimes when you download GameCube ISOs, the file extension is .gcn. Change that file extension to .iso, or else it won't work. Number three, we can use this method, we can use the SD Media Launcher, to play burned games. However, I haven't done that yet, and this isn't a tutorial for that. However, you can go on YouTube and look up a tutorial. But this tutorial hasn't been for that. And number four, some ISOs will not play off the SD card. I don't know what it is, they just won't. So, so that's just a heads up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just comment below. Thanks.